Hot Wings in the Morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Mostly sunny today on the way to 63 for a high. Not bad. It's about 50. Downtown GR. Very sunny. Yeah. It's going to be good. nice finally. Yes. So Grand Rapids has another win. We see these. It's become kind of a habit. Yeah. You know, it's almost expected. Yeah. Like when you see a list of great place to raise a family or cities that are on the rise or whatever it might be, you kind of expect Grand Rapids mm-hmm. to be in it. And so today I went, yeah, of course. Yeah. What's the list? WalletHub.com has a list of 2016's best cities to start a business. Number two, Grand Rapids, Michigan, just behind Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Oh, now well, they, that's pretty impressive. I mean, it makes some amount of sense given the growth that has happened on this side of the state and continues. So, yeah. you know, more people I mean more job opportunities. But to be second is pretty impressive. Ahead of a lot of great places that are in thriving communities. Some of them have the ad- advantage of uh, of climate and everything else. Mm-hmm. It says uh, they they ranked it on a lot of different reasons. 16 key metrics ranging from five-year survival rate to office space affordability to educational attainment of the labor force. And then it has the, the various things ranked in there. And so Grand Rapids, Great. number two, just a whisker behind Sioux Falls, but only a whisker ahead of Oklahoma City. Ooh. Suck it, mm. Oklahoma City. They do have that great song, though, for yes. their basketball team. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. But ahead of uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, St. Louis, Salt Lake City, Charlotte, uh, Madison. Everybody loves Madison. Raleigh. Yeah. Omaha. So that's great. No Very surprise. cool. Yeah. Put those rapids back in now. Get started. Yes. When are they going to start dumping rocks in there? Come I on. I want rocks in there. And also, okay, I know a grocery store is coming to downtown. Mm-hmm. There's, it's been in the news. I think that's great. Mm-hmm. It is great. However, it's it's great, but it's still like a smaller, more organic type of market. Not too, not too unlike the downtown market from what I hear. Okay. Okay. Why isn't Meyer? Why doesn't Meyer come here? Come downtown somewhere and p- plunk a Meyer right there. Be hard to find the space. Yeah, even a it's probably, it's probably the land usage. There's yeah. a ton of space. Buy up all those junk houses right across the tracks. Yeah, but you know there's Knock a, down. There's a oh, premium. just bulldoze the west side. Uh, actually, <laughs> well, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's parts that I'm guessing the people there. If you gave them, you know, I don't know what those homes are worth, but just need yeah. a square block. That's all. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. care. Cause, yeah, because you wouldn't need a full blown Meyer. No, just, just the, the, grocery. the grocery part. I mean, you don't need to sell bicycles to people in the middle of the city. I mean, you could, I suppose, but people in the city can't ride a bike. <laughs> well, no, they can, but you know, I mean, if you really want to get a bike, you can get a ride and go to a regular bike shop somewhere. Well, there's one. You there's know? Central District uh, Cyclery. That's you know, right there. People downtown probably don't have a need for Roundup as much, nope. or you know, things like that. But you put in, you know, the the groceries and greeting cards. Yeah, some house plants. Yeah, that's all. You know, stuff people that live in apartments would use. Yeah, because that's Maybe. who you're catering to. Obviously, like you know, living out where I do, I'm not going to drive downtown to get my groceries. That would be stupid. Right. But if you live downtown in one of the condos, one of the billion condos that's being refurbished and built from scratch in this right. town, I agree. I don't know why there isn't a a relatively mainstream grocery store, even like a smaller. D and W or Family Fair or something like that would I'm make s- sense, and I got to imagine at some point that will come. I'm slowly making my house sellable. Well, Ellen doesn't know this, but mm-hmm. yesterday we ordered doors. Finally, did I tell you we don't have doors in the house? Like on, even on your bathrooms? Yeah, the bathrooms have the doors. Do you have doors on your house? <laughs> or are uh, those gone too? <laughs> yes. Except, did I tell you that the wind ripped my screen door off? <laughs> Well, the screen door no, had had glass in it. That's very disappointing when that happens, dude. It, it, the that breezeway becomes a crazy wind tunnel when yeah. it gets when it gets windy out. Mm-hmm. And I walked home one day and just found the door hanging off of one hinge, the bottom yeah. hinge, because the wind had taken it. Yeah. So now it's in my garage, and there are chunks of my house on the side. You, did you notice that when you came over a couple of weeks ago? No, no, no. no. And I didn't notice it because I'm the only idiot who went to the front door. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. Never Apparently. mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> expectations. Yeah, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Took a second uh, to work its way there. Yeah, everyone thinks I have a new door, and I go, no, I don't have a new door. Um, I'm missing ripped, part of the, the old wind door. <laughs> ripped my other door, You're and just... 
yeah. all of this wood here off yeah. of my house. Wow, that sucks. And then I threw it into the garage. But anyway, so I you ordered, want to sell your house? I want to. And then do what? Well, yesterday I was I opened up GRAR and I'm looking at condos mm-hmm. downtown. That's that's what I want. I want a place to live that has no lawn, mm-hmm. that has no old ass pool, that I feel the need to open up even though. It's not heated, so we use it, like, on the hottest days of the summer, and that's yeah. it. Joe, you mm-hmm. got to talk about your house in a positive light if you want to sell it. Yeah. You mean yeah, that wonderful time. pool that you have. Yeah. Well, the net, house is good for expansive, someone. Expansive, beautiful it is. green grass. You have it an is, awesome lot. It would be it wonderful nice for somebody, but I have so I'm so sick of pretending that I'm going to work on it. And half assing my way yeah. through things. Yeah. As they say, it's got good bones. It has great bones. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, it's solid. Sounds like most and of you've the skin done, blew off the last you've time actually, it was windy. Yeah, you've done a lot a of work of to it, it, but it does need a couple of external band aids now and doors. <laughs> yeah. A couple blemishes. I'm in the same boat but you are. It's though. in pretty good shape. With my house? I'm yeah. Like, well, I don't live there anymore, so why do I want the hassle of this house? Plus, since I bought the, like, the markets bounce back a little bit, I'm like, I could get rid of this thing. That would be great. Now is your to, now you is your time, would. Steve. You would make yeah. money right now. Yeah, and because a, a friend of mine who she spent the last couple of months looking for a house, she said that she put in offers on like a dozen houses. One of them, she she had gotten outbid so many times that she just as soon as she saw an ad pop up on one of the uh, the real estate websites, she knew where the house was. Didn't even see it. It didn't have pictures on it yet. And she called and said, "I want to put an offer in on this house." And they said, nope, already sold. It had been up for what in the three hell? hours. This makes me yeah. want to sell my house. Yeah, let's I sell like, oh, I houses. Can, I can, yeah. I can, this is a great time to sell, ignoring the fact that it's a horrible yeah. time to buy. Yeah, in some cases, if it hits the internet, it's already gone. Not in every case, you know. If you look and the house has been up there for three weeks, chances are it's available. I'm glad that the people but, living in my house just signed a new lease that started yesterday. Well, you shouldn't have let them. You don't have to worry about anything for a year. Yeah, Yeah, but it could tank in a year. Yeah, it could. it could go up. Yeah. I could be a millionaire. I would say, yeah, probably. That would be a significant uh, increase in home values. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would have to increase by like (laughs) $985,000. No problem. (laughs) Not an issue. So double? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's going to be worth it. Be worth it, man. No, No big deal. No big deal. Yeah, I know. I know two different families where they put their house up, thinking, "Yeah, we'll find one," and now they're living with parents. Yeah, like that's with what I want children do. and everything else. That's what you want yeah, to do. Yeah. yeah, I told Ellen, I go because we we lived with her parents for a little while when I was when we were looking for this house because it took so long. We had to get out of our lease, and um, yeah, that's when we were living with her. That's when I'm pretty sure that her father saw me nude. Oh, I remember that. Oh yeah, yeah the sexy day. Those, that was the <laughs> sexiest day. Um, but, yeah, we were living with him at the time, and so now it's just sell this, mm-hmm. make money, live with parents, wait for the market to crash again. Oh, please tank economy. And then <laughs> mm-hmm. get a condo. That's all I need. These please. But, see, the problem is Ellen doesn't want to uh, get a condo. <laughs> So my well, that's a pretty big problem. Yeah, oh right. yeah, I don't okay. Get far so, of the plans. so yeah. Well, this is all right. I mean, you guys can just live in separate places. You can have your uh, condo and mattress. Yeah, and uh, you know, and then you can visit each other <laughs> on so the anyway, weekends. And least- I've talked about that. Just getting because I I'm in mini house mode. I really want one of yeah. those tiny houses. Yeah. So she said, "Is there enough room for us both in a tiny house?" And I said, "No, we'll just get." Two tiny houses and yeah, put, put them, them together. Next to each other on a on a plot of land. Yeah, they and call it a, a double wide, yeah. a double wide tiny <laughs> house. That way, yeah, you'll have uh, you know uh, upwards of three hundred square feet. <laughs> yeah, God, that just seems so appealing to me. That seems appealing to me, like for a weekend place. Like if it was, if you had a nice little lot on a lake somewhere, having a tiny house would be awesome. That's what but my wife keeps saying. Living in one like like permanently. Man, would that take a shift? I mean, people do it. They do it in Japan and stuff where, you know, obviously their land is at such a premium that you live in these little tiny sp- uh, spaces. But, man, like I, think it would, I think it would drive me crazy after a while. I've gone away from it. I'm over it. I don't want a tiny house anymore. I just want a condo, yeah. which is essentially a tiny house on top well, of some cases, and underneath yeah. and next to other tiny houses. <laughs> 
<laughs> that so also- usually they're not that small, though. Steve, you can build no, a tiny no. house in my backyard, and I'll rent it out to you, like that guy that was renting a box in San Francisco. How much? Build a tree How much for the uh, for for the land? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars no. for the land? No, a month. No, oh, that's a, a good month. deal. It's- that's what that guy paid to have a box in a living room. No, that's not a Francisco. good deal. Yeah, in San Francisco. He got to live right. in the apartment, Look, though. I, no one else no. is offering you this. This is a good market right now. Boy, St- you really make it sound... Steve could buy, like, four acres somewhere for 500 bucks a month. Not where I live. Maybe he doesn't want to live where you live. <laughs> no, I mean, there's nothing for sale. I'm sure you don't <laughs> yeah. want to live around there. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in my backyard. No. Hey, what's your front yard filled like? Well, it's no. got dog poop and a mm-hmm. lake that comes and goes. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, after all the times you've talked about uh, Lake Stupid in the backyard, I do not want to be on Lake Stupid. I was going to be You have to have on. a house on stilts like it's along the Grand River. <laughs> I was going to let you put it on the other side where you'd have lakefront property three times a year for two weeks at a time. So you got all the mosquitoes could bite you. It's your own pond of Zika. Mm. <laughs> Wait, so do I get a? Uh, does this pregnant. include electric? Yeah, if you get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got you gotta, you gotta get a cord. You got to get your own big uh, liquid propane tank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And also, as the yeah, um, or maybe the... something that burns corn husks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Steve, you got to yeah. buy your own cobber. Maybe pellets of some sort, a pellet stove. <laughs> It's I'm offspring. Self-esteem. 97.9 GRD rocks. Wow, wow.